everybody and greetings from Germany. So I'm trying to explain you the easiest way to kind of set up your own um, triple Volker stand. So I was looking through the whole internet and trying to find like um, an instruction how to do it yourself for a triple Volker stand but unfortunately there was not really a good instruction. So I found one for, a, for two Volkers and um, that was the only blueprint that I could find in a digital form and the only idea I had was to kind of modify it to make it, you know, to convert it to a triple stand. So this is what you get from the internet, so the, the link to the website will be in the description and there's also um, the blueprint as a PDF, so you need an Adobe Reader and if you print it out, uh, make sure you print it in full size, not in fixed size or fitted size or anything like that, this needs to be in full size so you have the correct measurements. Also, all the tools, all the measurements, whatever you need for that will, will be on that website as well, like what drill you use and the correct measurements, so it looks like this at the end when uh, it gets done correctly so the Volker itself they don't have to be um, mounted in so they just stick in it so if you um, lose the screws on the sides a little bit and um, you, you you know put the Volkers in you just tie them up then it will just you know be in there so they can't move anywhere not even the top one if it does what I also use hold on one second um, which helped a lot was those oh there it is Either double-sided tape or those um, power strips because they're easier to remove if you ever want to take them back out. So I had to use a power strip for the top beads because somehow maybe, you know, it wasn't aligned perfectly, but that's not a problem. I, I don't plan to take them out ever again, so it's all good. So back to this, um, as, I, as I said, you know, this is all you get from the internet. So what I did, I uh, pretty much printed one copy on uh, transparent paper which looks like this. Actually, I printed two versions of it. So let me put this down on the floor. So if you put this one down, take the other copy just upside down, and you align them as good as you can. I mean, I'm just doing everything with one hand right now. Like this. Then you pretty much have already like a triple Volker stand. But, of course, it kind of looks stupid on this end. So you kind of have to do your own thing, kind of extend this side and this side, and you know, bring it in the same shape. So what I did, I took another bigger transparent paper, put it on top, and just trace the uh, trace the out. Sorry for my bad English, and trace the outside. So sorry for the bad corner down here, but you get what the point is. And the good thing is about the the blueprint, even for just the dual wall cuts, is that you have the like the the markings for the holes to uh, get those little panels on the backside in just to give those um, Volkers the support, so I of course put it on here too. And of course a good carpenter can make something really good out of it. So all the measurements are on there, it's uh, all by the, by centimeters or inches, so it doesn't matter you know which one you use, they're pretty accurate and um, it's a really good explanation. Like I said, unfortunately I couldn't find anything better. I don't have any um, digital version of my blueprint, so everything was hand drawn and just brought into the shop and my friend was like, all right, I, I make the best out of it, so he really did. And he kind of got the point what, what it's supposed to be and what it's supposed to look like. So as you can see, maybe if I push it a little over, see if you see the extended side, it's all one straight line. And uh, he even, maybe I can show it, he even did like the same shape, like on all other edges. So came out pretty, pretty well. I'm really happy. Um, he just used um, regular plywood, so nothing fancy. Of course, you can use any type of wood, and, but that, that's more described on the website as well. So, um, whatever you prefer. I mean, this one is more made to either left to be blank or painted with uh, solid paint. If you use real wood, of course, you can uh, use different techniques to weather it or whatever you want to do it or paint it. And um, I hope this helps. Like I said, link will be in the description, everything else is explained from whoever the owner is. Um, he did a really great job trying his best to uh, make this uh, easy enough for, for anybody and uh, I'm pretty sure some professional carpenter will have an easy goal by putting this together and, and like I said, even the panels are described, they're under each um, Volca is one small panel, it's I think five centimeters high and of course the length of, of a Volca and um, 
that's why the two screws on each Volca, that's where the, the panels are tied up. Hope this helps. The next video will be about this bad boy, the trigger finger. So everybody was pretty much um, asking how to set it up so it works with the any Volca, of course. Um, I prefer to use it for beats for the, the sample or the beats. With the beats, I somehow have an issue with external MIDI. I mean, um, I know how to set it up so it, it reads the, the external MIDI signals, but somehow it doesn't really want to. But that's a different story. Um, the sample was pretty easy. Next video will be about that. And um, also, if somebody wants to know how to set up the drum rack in Ableton Live for the Volcas through a MIDI interface, I, of course, can do that as well. Which is pretty much the same, like setting this one up. But um, I think it's also interesting to work with a with a computer program or with software like Ableton or Steinberg, Cubase, you name it, and um, can have control about all the devices. That's why I bought this little launch pad because you can create clips in Ableton and just fire them off. You know, you don't have to focus on, you know, uh, changing the programs in the song mode. You just go on the fly and. I mean, I, I get deeper into that later. So, have a great day. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. I try to answer as best as I can. I'm just same as you guys. You know, I'm an absolutely beginner on those Volcas and uh, I'm trying to make the best out of it. <laughs> so, but I try to help as good as I can.